Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. It's a very cold Monday the 18th of January when we're filming this and this video is about Jubilee Gardens in Cleveland. So I'm just going to orientate you first of all to where we are. So the big grey building that you can see straight in front of you there is the venue. This is the cafe on Cleveland Seafront. Down here on the beach is Mary's Shell. So this road is the, the seafront promenade road. At the back of the little cream wall is the beach and that is the direction of Cleveland Town Centre. This big building on your left here is the, the cinema. So the reason why I am standing here <laughs> is to point out this post. Now I'm not quite sure what this post is. I've got a vague recollection somewhere in the back of my mind that I did hear somebody say what it is, but I can't remember. I'm sorry, I can't remember. But that is one of the, the very old pieces of the old section of promenade that was here. And at this end of the park, we're next to the kids' area. So this is their skate park, their skate ramps. Um, there's a mugger, multi-use games area. And there's a little shelter here for the, the kids to play under and it's all watched over by a CCTV camera which is linked to the main control centre at Wire Council. So this was, this was all built at the end of the um, Cleveland Sea Defence Scheme. In fact, I'm just wondering whether Jubilee Gardens Wheel Park, there you go. There's a sign there to tell you how to use it. I didn't know it had a name. I didn't know it was called the Wheel Park. So this is the multi-use games court where you can do your football and netball and basketball and whatever other games you want to play without keep having to run off chasing the ball. And this is a little kid's playground. So as you can see, it's, it's next to the beach and the main amenities. There's, there's long stay parking down there. We'll come to the car park in a minute. And the obelisk there in the centre. I don't know, I always thought it had been there forever, amen, but it's fairly recent that. And it was added in 2006 after the, the second phase of works was completed. So there are various little areas like this where you can just sit down. There's a... That's new, that's a new children's play area that the Friends of Jubilee Gardens have installed recently. And there's a footpath that takes you around the back of the park and the path itself is all tarmac so you don't have to walk in the, in the mud and the wet. And this little doggy looks like he's having some training lessons. So, <coughs> down there in that bottom corner is the bowling green. We're going to turn around and we're going to walk back this way because it's, it's too cold and too grey to be doing a job like this when um, you're just walking around a footpath. So we'll go the, the interesting way and we'll, we'll show you down here. So the, the park is actually looked after by the Friends of Jubilee Gardens which was formed in February 2016. Um, they, they do in bloom, so there's not much to see at the moment, I'm afraid, because it's obviously winter, but there are, you can see there are some areas here which are um, raised to the, to the floor. These are areas where there are bulbs planted and spring flowering and one thing and another. So they've done quite a lot of work, actually, to put new benches in. There's one here in front of us which I'll show you when we get a bit nearer. Um, and they've got a £45,000 grant from Lancashire Environmental Fund and some money from Wire Council to do some improvement works. So they're going to be developing a, a seaside theme play area, of which that is one of the bits. Um, they'll be adding seating and a play equipment trail and various other various other different things. So this is one of two plaques that are on the obelisk and you can't, it's not very clear because the, the black lettering's come off but it says Jubilee Gardens Restoration Project opened by the Worshipful the Mayor, Councillor Peter Hawley on the 18th of October 2006. 
with Councillor Russell Forsyth, leader of the council. Um, and that was built by Burr Civils, which then went on to become Balfabiti. And this is the original one from the very first opening of the park, which is in 1937 on the 1st of May. And it was opened by the Right Honourable Lord Stanley. And there's a list there of who was, who was present at that event. So, Jubilee Gardens is actually, not that you would have known it from this year, but Jubilee Gardens is actually a popular space for events. And you've probably been here to the, to the car show um, and various other different big events. I'm just going to show you this before we walk off. This is what you call the green shorts of recovery, this. Look at that little hyacinth in the middle, it's just starting to flower. Bless it. Makes you feel like spring's on the way. So this is one of the new playing areas that the, the Friends of Jubilee Gardens have installed. Um, and as I was saying, it's a popular place for the memory of Joan and Les Langdon. For events like um, the Cleveland Car Show, Thornton Gala have used it over the years for their fun fair. Um, various different things. There's, there's a circus that comes in and uses the field. Um, and it's a, it's a really useful open space. The only downside to it is that it's so exposed to the sea and the weather can be horrendous. As I know, <laughs> I'd, not been, I'd not been here very long and one of the first things that I did was um, a, a sea festival event. Um, some information there on the world log about what they're doing, what they are. Um, so we'd organised this event that was to take place on the 4th of July. The date is ingrained on my memory. And the weather was horrendous. It was so bad that we had to cancel it at 11 o'clock, call it off because it just wasn't safe. Everything was blown away. And that was in July. The seafront itself was rebuilt between 2005 and 2010 here. And this is Jubilee Gardens Bowling Club. Beautifully looked after in this corner. So that's where they live. And this car park is designed as a multi-use space. You have to see people exercising the dogs on here as well, like this lady's doing. So the idea of this is that it's obviously a car park, which is popular for people visiting the beach and um, walking on the seafront. You can use your wire residence parking badge down here as well um, for three hours a day. But it's also a space that can be used for events. So you can kind of block one section off and do different things on it. So this was, this was used several times for the National Scout go-kart races. Now, if you've never seen them, they're a, a sight to see. So the, the, the scouts compete between each other and they make their own go-karts out of various different things, all kinds of weird and wonderful, weird and wonderful uh, designs. And then they race them to see who's got the, the most long-lasting one and built the best design. So there are a few shortcuts here as well. So in that corner over there, there's a shortcut Shortcut through to Manor Beach School, down here, down that one. Um, and down here, that takes you to Cargate and ultimately down to the tramway. Now in my pocket, I've got some pictures to show you, which might be a bit of a challenge given the fact that it's quite blowy. Um, 
But I've got some pictures of the old park in the olden days before um, it was redeveloped as part of the um, Sea Defence Project. So let me just get these out of my pocket and we'll see We'll see if I can manage to juggle this and, and not drop everything at the same time. Fortunately, I had the presence of mind to put it in a plastic folder because I realised that it was rainy. So this one is, is actually, I should have shown you this at the beginning. This one is actually Jubilee Gardens when the paddling pool was there. So it's actually taken from over there at the side of the pub where we started off, looking back this way, and I'm not going to get away with this. <laughs> looking back this way, let's, let's see if I can reorganise it. With the venue, that building is the big one in the middle of the picture. So you can see there were um, paddling pools and areas for children to play and various different things. All of these pictures and all of this information is on the Visit Cleveland's website. So I will put it in the link, the link in the description below, and then you can have a look at that at a, at a later date. Now I'm going to carry on walking a second because the second picture that I'm going to show you is actually from this end of the promenade, looking back where we came from. And if you've been coming to Cleveland a while, you'll remember this, I certainly do. Um, because it's how how it was when I first first came here. So you can you can just see the sea actually. There you go. It's all it's all kind of churny as it's coming in. Right. So this one's obviously been taken from the top floor of the venue, looking down and looking across the the sea front. So that's where we are now so this the the line at the right hand side is the the promenade and you can still see the kink actually can you see there's a little there's a little shelter and just above it there's a bend in the road and that's that's the bend that we're looking at there where the crossing is and there was a wall that ran along this edge of the um seafront across here from along here from the corner of the venue it went it went along there um and then at the back of it were shelters and gardens and various different things so there you are that's that's jubilee gardens back in the day so I hope you've enjoyed this rather random, very cold, slightly damp look around your local park. Um, along with information and pictures from the past and <coughs> all the stuff about what, what used to happen here. On the Visit Cleveland's website there are also some nice pictures of sunny days <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, and we will come back. We will come back on a day when it is warm and sunny. And don't forget as well, if you're wanting to explore, that there is another Jubilee Gardens on the foul cut at Blackpool. And that one is near Ginn Square. It's near Ginn Square and um, it's quite a big park. It's one of those slightly sunken ones. And we'll end on a shot of the sea and the shell on the beach because it would be churlish not to it's at the back of the concrete there we go there you are along with a shot of mary's shell so don't forget if you've enjoyed this video give it a like give it a share don't forget to subscribe to the visit file coast youtube channel and you'll take care and stay safe and we will see you soon bye for now bye